Hello everyone. Hi, how are you? Today I'm playing for the very first time ever The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind and I'm so excited because Leah literally have never played this before. Not even like to check it out or test it. Before before I film this, let me just check the mic. Okay. Just wanna check out my microphone. Yeah, I know this is a super old game and it's gonna be pretty different for me who's used to playing in Skyrim. In fact I actually have on a Skyrim shirt and it says Dovahkiin at the bottom. Uh, it's my only Elder Scrolls attire that I own, although I have a piece of jewelry. I have an amulet of Mara, and it's super cool. I almost wore it, but you really wouldn't be able to see it because it's on such a long chain. Alright, I have my headset because I feel like it's important that I hear the music and the voices and everything for this in order for me to be able to do commentary. There's a plane. No more planes. This is my pretty red headset. Hello. It's a little bit uh, noise canceling, which I don't really like, so I might. I can get. The reason why I don't wear headsets normally is because I can't hear my own voice. All mine are noise canceling, so it, it messes me up. I wonder if I can put it like half over my ear. Yeah, if I put it like. <laughs> my hair is getting in the way, but. Ah, it's like hitting my earring though, my R2D2 earring, which I, I lost. This morning, by the way, like I, I think I was brushing my hair or something, and one of my earrings popped out, and I freaked out. I was like, "Where's my R two D two earring?" Each event is preceded by prophecy. This is really loud. But without the hero, there is no event. So seriously, so loud. In the waning years of the third era of Tamriel, a prisoner born on a certain day to uncertain parents was sent under guard without explanation to Morrowind, ignorant of the role he was to play in that nation's history. I know that there's like no way for me to adjust the audio for me. I can adjust the audio for you, but uh, if I dab out of the game, it will crash. <laughs> As it has done for me like two or three times now. a lot, by the way. <clears throat> what is your name? Dovahkiin. That's how you spell it, right? I have to look at my own shirt. Dova. Yeah. With two eyes. Yeah. Dovahkiin. Okay. You're very... You look like a jogger, and his name is Jub. I actually, I know you. I know you because uh, I, in the, um, it's in the DLC for Skyrim. If you play the Dawnguard DLC, spoilers, you get taken to the Soul Cairn, and in the Soul. You meet the soul called Saint Job, and he tells you his story and everything, and he gives you a lock and everything. But it is this guy; it is a reference to this guy, which I knew about. So this is kind of cool for me, having played Skyrim first. Oh my god! 
gosh, this animation. W and S, yes, okay, I could have figured that out for myself. Do I just press E to talk to you or? For this walk animation. I love it with all my heart. It is atrociously bad. It's so good. Oh, I love this so far. I love old games. I really do. Hi. Look up at the hatch and press spacebar to open it. Spacebar activates. Oh, okay. So that's how you talk. How we talk? Some food, some bread. Can I take it? No. It looks really dark. I can turn it up the brightness a little bit. That's not frightening at all in OBS. Look at that. You see my face? It's not changing it at all. Like if I turn it, what? Why does that not change it in OVS? That makes no sense. <laughs> it's really loud. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just gonna turn on the volume again because for me it's just like. The silt striders. The sense is all this. Okay, but I want to go over here first. I love it. It's so cute. I would have had so much fun playing this as a kid. Oh, I would have loved it so much. I love it. Hello. Oh, I get to make my character now. Ooh. Okay, I give you an Argonian. Oh, wow, they look different. A Breton, Dark Elf, High Elf, an Imperial, a Khajiit. <laughs> Looks more like a Wookiee. A Nord, an Orc, a Redguard, or a Wood Elf. I always go wood elf because I really like uh, sneakiness and stuff. Yeah. Resist disease. I want to be a girl elf. And the face. These face models are amazing. Oh boy. Okay, not a lot of options to choose from. I think I'll go with um, maybe that one. She seems to be kind of nice looking. Some of them look kind of mean. What about the hair? Let's these hair models. Turn around so I can look at the texture in the back. So there's no like color slider, it's just like the colors tied to the style. Okay. Uh, um, I'll pick this short one, I think. They're all bad though. I still can't see my legs. I can't see my legs. Sorry, I just made a loud sound. I am with the way these NPCs walk. I feel like I cannot get over this. 
But I really want to see my legs. Bugs me when I can't see my own legs. What are you looking at? So do I go in here? Feels like I go in here. Line lamp. By the way, um, I know there'll be some people who'll be like, yes, I enjoy this, please play it more. I'm playing this on the Game Pass, so I actually don't own the game. This is really, like, falling off me. Yeah, basically. I don't own the game. I'm just playing a part of the Game Pass, and I'm only, I only have the Game Pass for, like, a month. So, I, I'm sure I'll play more when I can at some point, but it might not be for a few months, I don't know, whenever I get the game pass again. I'm sitting on my foot, and it's uncomfortable. Let me stop sitting on my foot in this creaky chair. This chair is insanely creaky. Okay, is it done? I just wanted to let you guys know that because, um, yeah, there's always people who, you know, want more of a video and, and I'm, I'm open to playing this again, but I do have another Elder Scrolls game to play next week. So, make sure you're back next week for more old school Elder Scrolls fun. Answers questions given the so we could generate a class, pick from the classes or create a custom. Let's pick from the class list. Okay. Acrobat, agent, archer, assassin, barbarian, bard, battle mage, crusader, healer, knight. Mage, Monk, Nightblade, Pilgrim, Rogue, Scout, Sorcerer, Spell Sword, Thief, Warrior, or a Witch Hunter. Ooh. Either a Thief, because I always pick a play as a Thief, that's just my thing. Um, or I also like Archers. Agent sounds cool, too. Agent does sound neat. Uh, and also assassin, but they sound too stabby stabby, and I don't like to be violent. I just want to take things. I just want gold. So maybe I'll be a thief. Major skills will be security. Sneak. Aerobatics. Lighter. Armor. I can't read. Short plan. Marksman. I don't know, if I were this guy and the customs agent, and he was like, what is your class? And I was like, thief. I'd be like, uh, okay, we're just gonna put these handcuffs on you and take you to prison. <laughs> like, I don't know. Oh, so these are the stones in Skyrim. Okay. My favorite one would be just the thief stone. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pick that one. I don't even, didn't even read what it did. My name is Druba Keen. What it doesn't sound like a very Bosmer name, does it? Thief. The thief. That is not a lot of health. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die so much. But I have a lot of stamina. So my major skills. I've got I'm very skilled in light armor and sneaking. Pretty skilled in aerobatics and somewhat skilled in security and short blade. And then my minor skills. Marksman, not the, yeah, okay, miscellaneous skills, everything else is just five. It's a lot of skills. Alright, I am very speedy and agile, 
and somewhat personable and lucky and intelligent, not very strong, willful, or nerds. I would say if I had to actually put myself into these skills, I'd be like, agility would probably be my top one. I'm very, uh, balanced and flexible, because I used to be a dancer. So my speed also might be somewhat fast. I consider myself pretty lucky. I used to have a lot of random lucky things happen to me that just seemed lucky. And I'd like to think personality would also be high, because I think I can talk my way out of things. I'm like the least strong person ever though, so I would be so low. <laughs> and I feel like willpower would definitely be low. Endurance would definitely be low. I'd like to think my intelligence would be high. Yeah, this this is this is pretty on par with myself. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to take forever doing the character because that's super annoying for everyone. I have a stats menu. Okay, am I clicking on the CDs your menus? Oh, my um, my health and everything. It's like underneath my camera. I'm sorry, you can only see my stamina, but I can't move my camera, because like I said, if I tap out of the screen, it will crash. <laughs> it is an old game, guys. This is too much information for me. Oh, it's the UI is so small. Audio is really bad, like I can't see you. Where are my papers again? Oh, do I take do I cool. I will take it. I now have an inventory menu. There I am, you can't see me. I kind of look Asian. insanely long legs, like there's no way any human proportionally has legs that long. It's insane. I really want to break in this chest. Do I give him? Move along. Okay, goodbye. Sorry, I turned up footsteps because I actually really like the sounds of footsteps. You should be able to learn to do combat, okay? That makes me a bit nervous, but okay, I'll take this iron dagger. Dropping it on your picture. Okay, so... Sorry, I know you can't see. Um... Oh, you just click. Press F to pull out your weapon, and once the weapon is ready, to hold and release. So, yeah. Sound effects are not amazing. I just took some bread. What's this? Crab meat. I'll take it. And the hoarding already begins. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just such a bad hoarder in games. I also hoard gold like like a crazy amount. So I could, I could go down that way or I could go out this door. What's this door? Does it say? Do you say to me? And then what's down here? Oh, okay. Well, there wasn't anything too interesting. I'm surprised that the music is the same music. I thought they would have made new tracks for all the games. But clearly, for Skyrim, they just reused all this music. <laughs> you know the map menu it shows you the name of the place. I mean, to be fair, it's good music. This is good music. I like it. Okay. Is it him? Look at that. Look at the tiny little map down there. I, I, I can't. Why? 
why is my it's so small guys like I put it on the highest possible aspect ratio because of course my monitor is much bigger than this um, but that UI is so small like start holding hoarding soul gems. I'm not gonna do it. Oh, here's a map. Okay, that's better. Beast dog. It's like where you control animals and stuff. Even the text is so small. I mean, I'm like, <sighs> and okay, this is too much. Uh, I don't want to join the Imperial Legion. Here in Morrowind, I don't know why you're here, or why you're released from prison and shipped here, but your authorization comes directly from Emperor Uriel Septon the Seventh himself. I am a free man. Excuse me, I'm a woman. <laughs> paying attention. I have instructions on your duties. Instructions from the Emperor. Okay. You personally authorize. I'm famous. The Emperor himself released me. It's all very mysterious. That's why the Empire works. Silence. Secrecy. Let's not let let not let it live. Okay. The Empire is the Empire. Where am I? Oh, here we go. Duties. It's not capitalized for some reason. Alright, um, this package came with the news for your arrival. Take it to Caius Cosades in the town of Balmora. Go to the South Pole Corner Club and ask for Caius Cosades. I don't know where to find him. Serve him as you would serve the Emperor himself. I also have a letter for you. An eight dispersal to your name. My journal's been updated. Directions have been added to the package. And ah, it gave me 87 gold. Thanks, Celis with the crazy ripped arms. Look, okay, his legs are also really long, because here's a fun, like, anatomy fact tip. Okay, wow, this really crouching does not take you down much. Your fingertips should come halfway down your thigh. They are not for him. And if you look at my, you can't see my portrait, but my hands are basically to my hips. That's not anatomically correct. <laughs> Press J to use your journal. I should probably check out Arville's Trade House. I'm now on my own. No, I need you to guide me. My orders are to go to the town of Balmora and Vardenfeld district for put a man named Caius Cosades. Cosades. To find out where he lives, I should ask him about more at the corner club. And I have to give him back a package of documents and lead to for the orders. Oh, look, there's people standing around. Hi, yes, what do you want? Oh, what 
that's the advice, yeah. New Year, take the Silt Strider to Vivek or Belmora, fast and cheap, no trouble fallen animals and smugglers and bandits and outlaws. What if I am a bandit? Um, what is a little secret? If you're thinking of jelly up country or sugar out or out Molag Amor. Corpus, it's a disease that turns normal creatures into bees. Turns men into twisted mad lumps of flesh, superhumanly strong and full of hatred. Sounds like zombies. You get corpus from fighting or diseased creatures. It's hard to get, but harder to get rid of. There's no cure. So this isn't like Skype where you can just go pray at a shrine and get rid of your... Oh dear. What is someone in particular? The Aldmer Arville. Ariel. Is the chief ancient. Okay. Well. Should I try to use persuasion? Hello, you look like an elf like me. Um, what's your background? Commoner. Weird. I heard there's been some trouble. Force for Frost Moth. I was gonna say, I, I know that name. It's on Solstheim. I can go to Solstheim. Cool. Um, secret, secret. Okay, Daedra, Daedric stuff. What about Elstra Persuasion? Admire, intimidate, taunt. I don't really want to do any of that. Never mind. Ring. I swear one of the guards has it. I had the last week. Oh. Oh, it's my ring. Sorry, I don't want a ring. So I could have given it my ring, but decided my character is not super honest because she's a thief. Oh, I already am so sick of that noise. I hear it all the time on Soul's Time. So annoying. Um, can we go in these houses? It's locked though, yeah? so rude. Get out of my way. It's so, like, foggy in the distance. The load distance is not great. Okay, these signs don't say an Ebonheart. Balmora, okay. Vivek, Bilajad, Saint Anine, that's where I just came from. La Oed, and Narmok. Okay, so, Balmora, this way. Now I've been like, thoroughly warned that, uh, I feel like those footsteps are too loud. It's actually a little annoying. Turn it down to you. Um, I've heard that this game's quite brutal. The animals are always attacking you and stuff. I just want to take it. I don't, I don't know what it does, but... So yeah, this this game maybe isn't as relaxing. At least in Skyrim, when I play Skyrim, I could turn off like AI detection. That looks like a kid. Doesn't that look like a kid? No, it's not a kid. Is it a kid? Or are they just really short? As uh, the seaport, I feel like I don't have much money. Like, if I were to travel, it costs 
14. Let me just try to... I'll try to walk. It could be bad, but I have my sword if I need to use it. With that guard, it's not a sword. There's a little swampy bit down here. Can I... This is just water, right? Like, I can go in it. Why is this lit? Trackletail. I leave it in them, but I saw this door over here which looked kind of mysterious. I don't know what it is. Come on, we gotta get to Balmora. Fortunately, I have a lot of stamina, although this is running. It's not very fast. My run feels like the normal walk. Here's another signpost. We can find out which way to go. Sorry, the stuff loading in is so funny. I think I could adjust it, but I'm just can't be bothered right now. And it's kind of charming. Alrighty. Up in order to build more. I keep going this way. Okay. Up this way we go. I'm kind of hurting my ear a little bit. backwards that like jump is E and activate is spacebar. Doesn't that just feel flip-flop to you? Wait, toggle POV tab. Hold on. the jump animation is just a single frame. of corpse. That's interesting. Okay, well, high five. We killed our first creature. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was too funny. Okay, Valmore's to the left. It's really pretty though. Let me see if I can just, um, maybe I can, that looks better, doesn't it? Why do I not have real-time shadows on? I'll just turn them up. Oh, it's so cute. I really love playing old games. Hmm, what are they? I'm not quite sure. I love this game. <laughs> I really do. Not in like a, oh, it's so bad, I think it's funny kind of way. I genuinely like it. Because, um, like I said, I always wanted to play games like this as a kid. And 
Sorry, maybe you like the footsteps, but they're just a little too annoying to me. Like, they don't sound as good, I think, as the ones in Skyrim. Um, but yeah, there's something so charming about this. It's really sweet, and even though I did not play this at all growing up, because this is literally my first time playing it, um, I feel nostalgic. The low res graphics, the low poly models, makes me feel super nostalgic um, for a time that I wasn't really playing games. I think maybe that's Belmore, I don't know. Let's continue down this road. It really wasn't that far away. Oh, what's that? I'm worried that it's not. It's kind of freaking out. I'm worried it's not friendly. It's not friendly, I think I'll run away because I <laughs> we could take on that little worm slug thing, but I don't think we can take on this big lizard creature. It doesn't seem to be bothered by me. It's a guar. Maybe they're friendly. Can't see it doesn't really seem it doesn't really seem bothered by me. Guars are good. Maybe it's just that one. I won't, like, say all oh, wars are good because I don't know, maybe they're not. Maybe you guys are like, no, wars are really bad. Don't, don't like them. Now, okay, I thought I was wearing that ring of healing. I just want to make sure. Restore health, one to five points. Oh, I have to cast it. Okay, so it's Q, yeah? Nope. How do I do it? Okay, I've already forgotten. R, okay. R. Um, what? what? I'm pressing R. I'm pressing R, nothing's happening. I don't understand. I don't know, I... And it's like... I'm wearing it, yeah? See? It looks like it's... active, so... Yeah, I wanna do... Oh, maybe it's because I didn't have that. I hadn't clicked on it. Oh, there we go. That was a horrible sound. <laughs> I did not care for that. Uh, do I say, do I have to use soul gems to recharge stuff? I'm guessing, yeah. Maybe I should have taken that Betty soul gem. Maybe that's what it was there for. Oops. <laughs> oh, this is not, what is this? This is a uh, pillage, yeah. Let's look at it just real quickly. I won't go too far in, but I just want to have a wee little look -see. Just a wee look. And then we'll continue on to Belmore, okay? I just like towns in old games. They're just really charming. And look at this little house over here. This would be the perfect kind of house. How do I, how do I pick locks? I really want to learn to pick locks. Oh my god, thought. Do I need like a lock? Oh, I need like lock picks, don't I? I don't have any lock picks. I have to remember it's right click, not escape. I can walk these guys, watch these guys walk around for ages. It's so good. Look at this guy. Like, the absolute power stance that they take. It's- oh my gosh, I love it so much. Looks like the sun's going down. Let's hurry if we want to get to Balmora by sundown. I really need to get some lockpicks, though. I 
I'm gonna practice breaking into people's houses, stealing their stuff. I think that was my first character in Skyrim. That's why I made a boss mark, so I made a boss mark thief, like, right off the bat. Okay, this way. What's this way? Oh, the background. Okay. And he played it for so long. Her name was Bridget, which was a very Nord name, but I made her a wood elf. And then I played it for so many hours, and one day, I got a dreaded game save is corrupted and cannot be loaded glitch. And I cried. I actually cried. I was really upset. My mom was like, I'm sorry, they're there. It's just a game. <laughs> I was like, for the hours of bed. She did not understand, but if she was sad, then I was sad. I don't know what happened, I just... Because I was on 360, it's not like I had mods that I could disable and figure out what was causing the problem. It was just one of those game-breaking glitches, I guess. I feel like I should be wandering off the beaten path, you know? But there's like... to stop dawdling. Oh, look, there's a person over there. We haven't encountered a person yet. On the road, I mean. Hi. Hello. Who are you? Mari Armin. Have you seen a bandit nearby? I was walking along here, minding my own business. Suddenly, a bandit jumped at me from behind. He was a dark elf, a strong, dashing dark elf. He didn't harm me in any way, although he did take my jewels. He was quite gentle and he talked to me for what seemed like forever. Jewels, you say? Never mind the jewels, I just want to find the bandit again. <laughs> this woman is just like Stockholm Syndrome. I'm simply must see him again. What was his name? Nellas? Nella Sonmar? A name that will stay on my lips for eternity. Oh my gosh, so I can have these jewels. I will try and find this man, if only for love's sake. You'll try? Thank you. I'm sure I'll be able to find him. I just about having to head north. He might be in Pillagead. Okay, well, I will remind, remember that. She just turned around very suddenly. I thought that, I would have said that Belmore is north, right? Because it feels like I'm heading north now, no? My head still keeps like slipping off the back of my head. <laughs> it's because, um, you know, because I'm not wearing it over this year. Yeah. But this year, yes, is good. Oh, uh, it looks like it is starting to get dark. Really should get to Balmora. So a lot of these little, I'm guessing they're like, you know, cave entrances. Um, for like cave cells and stuff. Oh, I had to load a new area for a second. I mean, the Little Miss Girls has come a long way, that's for sure. Uh, makes me very excited for six. If it's ever coming out. I, I specifically remember like three years ago watching E3 and being like, I know we're gonna hear something. I know. And then, is that a skeever? I think it's a skeever. Assuming they're in this game. Oh, it's just a rat. <laughs> the 
That was a very interesting fight. I hope I'm at least getting better at the uh, combat. So I think I can eat my bread, yeah? What do I do? Do I just... And I can eat that uh, crab meat? Is this healing me? I don't think it healed me or anything. I think I just... <laughs> I just ate it. So it's not like I can stop and eat a whole wheel of cheese in this, huh? Okay, so Belmore is... Wait, no, what? Where's Belmora? Oh, it is this way. Okay. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. Uh, nope, don't remember. Uh, yeah, Elder Scrolls 6, that was it. Watching at E3 and being like, I know they're gonna say something about it. And then they did, they showed that tiny little tra trailer teaser. It was honestly so small and short, and they really showed absolutely nothing. But I literally screamed when I <laughs> My poor neighbors, I was like, ah, it's happening. And, um, and then it was just like, we're working on it. <laughs> and so I was quickly like, and now it's been like three years um, with no further news. And I am starting to lose hope. All I hope. It, yeah, I have no hope anymore that it will ever come out. <laughs> it's just a pipe dream in this mind. I will never get Elder Scrolls 6. I think I will have finished all of Morrowind and Oblivion and Skyrim for the umpteenth time by the time it comes out. Is this Balmora? No, it's the Moon Moth Legion Fort, which I could have guessed by the Legion flags that are being flown. I need to have a sip of water. I just hit the microphone while I was trying to reach over it. Seriously, taking me forever just to get to this town. I mean, I thought it would be a lot closer. <laughs> like, uh, Pelagiat closer. What's this? Creshweed? Is this a plant? Rubush. Rubrush. It's fine, everything's new to me because it's more wind. city. Oh, it says Balmora. Balmora Blue. I know it would have been a lot faster if I just taken the salt strider, but I'm a thief. I'm not going to easily part with my money. What is, is it just a fast... Is it just a fast travel system, or is it like, I'm guessing, rather than like you actually travel through the world or whatever? Is that an Argonian? So your name is Trubikian. Um, someone in particular. I don't know, what exactly am I supposed to be asking about? Because I'm supposed to go to the corner club, yeah? Uh, the Vardenfeld district, and I report to a man named Caius Cosades. And if I know where he lives, I should ask at the South Wall, okay, so I'll ask her about South Wall. It's a working class corner club, east of Odai River, on the south end of Labor Street, owned by Bicola? Okay, well, that's good enough. I'll go this way. Wait, what did this say? Council Club. 
Is he not in there? Feels like he'd be in there. Well, this must be the river. I'm guessing, you know, it will look a little bit more like a, like a club than, uh, these which are kind of clearly houses, yeah. Maybe the guard can help me out. South wall. East of the Odai River. So, I mean, this is the river, yeah? So I'm east of the river now, I'm guessing. I'm good, I don't need to talk to you. Maybe that's the, maybe that's it. Just like a you know, a banner outside. Feels like that could be it. Here we go. Made it to the South Wall Corner Club. Okay. Hi. I'm so thrilled. Welcome to Belmora, where House Lalu Down and loyal citizens of the Empire. Uh, I'm looking for Caius Quesades. I'm not sure where he's living now, but ask the owner. He must be around here somewhere. Okay. Oops. Is it you? That's rude. What is going on with those legs? What is happening? Who? I just want to know. I just want names. Who designed this? And the Argonians, for that matter. And who thought this praying mantis look was okay that's fine wow that was something else okay are you the owner or is it that guy over there must be this guy over there no see you it's no one Maybe he'll know, though. Um, well, do you know where he is? Okay, well, he said the exact same thing. And you said the exact same thing. No, thank you. I'm okay. I'll go upstairs. Maybe he's asleep. I think it's a he. From where do you hail? Hi. It's you. I'm Bacula Closius. I'm looking for someone in particular. Where is Caius Kosani? He rents a little bed and breakfast shop just up the hill on the north edge of town. Go out the front door, not the upper door to the terrace, then right up the stairs, then left at the s- Okay, oh, that was too much information for me. I've already- Front door. Front door, right up the stairs, then left. So, front door, right, left into the street. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, so front door. Right. Left. Down to the end of the street. I'm hoping that I, I hope that I follow the directions properly. Oh, we did it. We, I mean, it wasn't that the instructions weren't that difficult to be fair, but alrighty. Do you want to put some clothes on, sir? Please. Oh my god. Why is he why do his muscles look that way? This isn't normal. What do you mean? Or told to report to him. What are you talking about? Um, I'm just an old man with a scuba problem. For 
true. I just met you. This is too much information right off the bat. So you say your name is Jubakin and you've been told to report to me and deliver a package. Perhaps you'll let me look at it. Yes, but now I feel like I'm being set up or something. Yeah, it's very interesting. It says here the Emperor wants me to make you a novice in the blades. I don't want to be in the blades. It means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to follow my orders? No. Fine. Get out of here and come back when you're ready. Goodbye. <laughs> Let me look at my journal. I gave him the package and he says the Emperor wants me inducted into the blades, the Imperial Intelligence Service with the rank of a novice. Gaius would be my spy master. Literally the first thing he told me was how he has a skooma problem and he wants to be my superior officer I I feel like I need to get In contact with his higher-ups and be like This man is not fit to lead others. He's got a problem <gasps> Should I do the emperor commands? I'm not sure. I want to think about it. Okay. Well on one hand I am interested in Like, it, it, it does sound kind of cool, but on the other hand, I've made this character to be like a rogue thief. Like, I don't take answers from anyone. I'm my own boss and I steal what I want. You know, maybe I'd join a thieves guild. Maybe I would do that. But the Imperials? <laughs> I mean, they're better than the Stormcloaks. That's fair. What is that? Moon sugar, oh my gosh. Yeah, this guy really does have a problem. Okay, well, I'm gonna get out of here for now. I guess I can probably come back in any time and do this, right? Yeah, I can come back in any time. Well, it's night now. Look at the moon, so pretty. Is that Secunda? I don't remember the names of all of them. the best thing about this game. This is Belmora, council seat of House Lolly, for loyal citizens of the Empire, and proud of it. Um, that's Odai. Um, goodbye. There's a lot to say. Like, there's a lot of uh, dialogue options. Like, a lot more than I was expecting, given how few you were offered in Skyrim, typically. It's quite a large but boring town. Let's look at the map. I haven't really seen much of it, so it's, I'm stuck. Go this way and turn to the left. Can I, like, look in these urns? There's a salt rice. Hackle low leaf. I don't know, I probably use them in like alchemy and stuff. That doesn't get old. What's up here? Is this someone's house? Fast Eddie. <laughs> what is he a runner? Fast Eddie's house. The water noise just very suddenly stopped. And there's a sign here. Oh, there's a couple signs. Oh, have I reached the like the shop? district, because that's what I was interested in. The razor hole. What? The hell? what? And what is this? Eight plates. Is this like a, a restaurant or a pub or something? Eight plates. I really gotta get my hands on some lockpicks. And I'm guessing I probably have to loot them. That's probably my best bet. It's just another entrance. Yeah. There. I'm sorry. So yeah, it's just a little pop. That's all. A lot of locked doors. Some nice bone mold uh, armor. Where is that slave? Oh my gosh. No, no, no. I don't want to be part of this. Oh. Yeah, I'm 
so <coughs> feels like this is the I don't know, like the main part of town where you got some shops what is this? looks like maybe armor and weapons oh, the guild of fighters okay oof, ooh, what's this? Guild of Mages? Where's the Guild of Thieves? Oh, this is a bookseller. Cool, cool. Oh, I should check these crates, see if there's any lockpicks. There's gold, there's money. All of it. It's mine now. <gasps> um, more gold. That's kind of annoying. I just want to take it all, you know. That's getting on my nerves already. Music's also getting repetitive because, like, they don't seem to have as many music tracks as, as I did. I'm guessing they just add on to the music tracks. Okay, an armorer. I'm not gonna bother looking in those crates because it's already annoying. What's this place? Ooh, let's go in here. Maybe they've got some mug packs we can get started. Barter. What do you have? Oh, everything is so small. Probably under miscellaneous, right? Maybe not, because this doesn't look like. Well, maybe. Maybe they just don't sell any here. Because it's definitely not under magic. It wouldn't be under apparel, right? So, yeah, I guess. We could always sell our uh, iron dagger. Oh, it's so inexpensive. It's we get no money from it. Short blade. We don't want any claymore, so it's just all right. Well, that's a lot to think about. Thank you very much for your time. Let's see. I want to go into these places. And I want to unlock that wooden chest, and I want to just steal from them from these poor. Helpless NPCs, so mean of me, I know. I always play like these really mean, awful characters, like like thieves and assassins, that I would never do in real life. I'd be way too scared to ever commit a crime in real life. Outfitter, what about over here? Pawnbroker, interesting. So then maybe I could go sell uh, questionably acquired goods. I don't know. Quite, quite a large city, I'd say, for, you know, like Elder Scrolls standards. Lucky Lockup? Sounds like a pub. And Council Club, yeah. We were right here when I started. Well. Did you guys have fun? I hope you had fun. My very, very first time playing Morrowind, and it's been documented for all of you to see. So I can always look back on this with uh, happy memories of... Yeah, the plane. It was really cute. I really do love it. I think I'll probably be playing some more on my own. Um, but like I said, if you enjoyed this, you definitely want to Go away! I'm trying to say goodbye to everyone. Oh my god. What a weirdo. That was... that was weird. I'm just gonna take this off because my hair is being so smushed by it. Uh, yeah, what was I saying? Yes, next week you definitely want to make sure you come back next week because probably guess what it is. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, if you, oh look, it's doing the thing where you time out. Look, there she is. See what I mean about her arms? They're like, yeah, Ooh, it is. Something else, please, please. Oh my god, they're literally calling me Bray now. I need 
to leave this area. Oh my gosh. So, um, well, this was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you had fun with me. And, uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss next week's video, but it'll be here next Thursday as part of my little, you know, it's, it's I don't always do uh, throwback videos on throwback Thursday, but sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. Yeah. Okay. And I hope this was nostalgic for you. If you played Morrowind growing up, or maybe you didn't, maybe like me, this is your first time seeing it, but you just, you had fun experiencing it for the first time through me, or for the first time again. Yeah. Alright. And 